Yo, here we are. We've got my Deviate Claymore. This is the Deviate Claymore I've been riding at home all year. Um, I've got a red Deviate Claymore as well that I'd been using for races all year. But this one's now got something a little bit prototype on it. So I've been swinging off this for the races, this last like two EWSs. EDRs now they're called. They're keeping us confused there. Uh, anyway, let's start at the top. We've got the one up, I've run in the one up cockpit. I've got 50 mil stem, 35 mil rise bars. I chop these bad boys down to about 760 mil. Sometimes 765 if I'm feeling like I want a bit more width. Seven, sometimes 755 if I'm, you know, riding in a leafing where the trees are real nice and tight. I've also got the one-up grips. I'm running the real thin ones here. I'm loving these. Uh, before that, I was running the the one-up, the standard one-up grips, but I'm running the thin ones now. I'm loving it. I've got the Magura Raceline MT7s here. I like to use the HC3 lever. Just it's got a little bit more adjustability and I really like that. I like running my brakes like pretty close to my bars and then like not much pull so it's just like on off, on off, on off. I can ride like that, rub, 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 rub. Um, we've got the, obviously the one up dropper, one up post. I run the 210 mil here. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of space for my short little legs. Stack wise, I play around, I quite often have quite a lot of stack but I've been fiddling around having like a little bit less stack recently and I'm settling around here, this is where it feels pretty comfy. Don't get sore back, don't, none of that nonsense, just fits perfect. Uh, we're running the old one-up tool in there as well. Let's get move further forward now. And we've got the Olin's RXF 36 M2s. I like the, I prefer the 36s over the 38s. The 38s are amazing if you're like bombing and riding big tracks and like out here they'd be amazing. But at, the EDRs, we quite often end up riding like these tight little trails and your speed's a bit slower and you just need something a bit more nimble, a little bit more flex and that's where I find the 36 just tracks the ground a bit better and I can you know, just move it around easier, a bit lighter. Uh, run them at 170mm travel. Compression settings, I run the high speed all the way open. Low speed, because we've been riding bike park a bit, I've actually closed the low speed off quite a lot to just hold the forks higher in the travel and that's I think I'm 10 clips, 10, 10 clicks from fully open at the moment, which is quite a lot of low speed compression. Air wise, I run 110 psi, something up to 115 psi in the positive chamber, and then in the ramp up chamber, uh, I play around. I've been running earlier in the year. I was running like 260 in the ramp up chamber, but now I've started to back that off, and I'm more like 2 220, 230. Uh, it just makes it a bit more linear, like less ramp up which I'm starting to, I'm quite liking that actually. Wheels wise, another item you might spot is a little bit prototype on this bike, the Hunt prototype wheels. I can't say much more about them, but I've been running these, I've been doing downhill laps on them. I've been doing, I've raced the EDR in Ludenville and I've been doing heaps of laps here at Bike Park Chateau. And I haven't, I've not touched the spokes on the front wheel and it's still perfect. And on the back one, I just tightened a couple of spokes that had come a bit loose and it's still perfectly true with like no dings or anything. They're, they feel indestructible so far. I don't want to jinx anything, but these wheels, they're solid. Uh, I've spoken about the brakes. I can't say too much about these gears. That's something that's a little bit, a little bit prototype on here. Uh, maybe, maybe part of the reason that I'm on this bike and not the red bike at the moment, but anyway, We'll move on. We're running the. I'm running the old Olin RXF shock with. Let's see. Let's see what weight coil I got in here. 503. I'm running the 503 coil. Low again. With been riding bike park recently, I've cranked up the low speed compression. So my low speed compression dial on this is up at like 14, 15 clicks from fully open, uh, and my high speed's fully open. Rebound. I run it about three clicks from fastest. Uh, I find that's just but perfect for me. I, I don't tend to change that much. Sometimes I'd run it a bit quicker at home when it's, the weather's cold and the suspension's running slower. Or if it gets really hot, I might add a little bit of rebound because uh, when it gets hot and the oil gets a bit like faster flow and this rebound speeds up. What else have we got cooking? I've got the Fidlock bottle. The beautiful thing about the Claymore frame is you can just, like an 800 Fidlock bottle like this, just straight in like that. And then if you're fancying a big day out, you can pop a 590 here as well, Fidlock bottle, or the chubby 800 Fidlock bottle also goes there. So you can be running like 1.6 litres of water just on your frame, which is a lot of water. That is a lot of water. 
I've got the EDC one up EDC tool here. What else have we got? Crank Brothers pedals. The way these green pedals are perfectly, the Mallet downhill pedals in green are just perfect match for this frame. Unbelievable. And I think I think we're just about cooked up there. No, not much else going on. If you want to know any other settings, just you know, drop a comment. I'll let you know. I'll let you know anything about this bike. If you want to know something. I can measure it, I can tell you, I can weigh it. I actually know the weight of this bike, but you're going to have to ask me if you want to know that sort of information. Yeah, we're good. Let them cook now. How long did I waffle on for there? Six minutes. That's a good shift. That was a hell of a shift. That's a good shift. That's way too much waffling. <laughs> if you watched this whole thing, fair play to you, because that was a hell of a lot of waffling. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, unsubscribe from Tom. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>